Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And now that we are done with all the achievements, and we just finished the Jack of All Planes achievement, we can do whatever we want, fly wherever we want, any distance we want, any plane we want, and it's such a great liberated feeling. It was nice to have achievements to like work towards and get some ideas, but I have over 100 flights of my own planned, so we're not going to ever run out of ideas anytime soon. So today we're going to step away from the GA aircraft and fly the Cessna Citation. So almost 100% of the time, or 99.998% of the time, I fly GA aircraft. But when I do fly a jet, it's this one. So we're going to fly it today. And we are flying IFR today, because why not, again, 99.998% of the time I fly VFR. But today we're going to fly IFR. Real wood weather, cold and dark start from parking spot to parking spot. Kind of a long one, 610 nautical miles, which on this plane will take about an hour and a half, maybe hour and 40 minutes or so. And the real wood weather's turned on. And real time? No, real time isn't on. Real wood weather is turned on though. But it is daylight. I'm excited to see what um, these clouds look like and what the weather looks like from the air. And as usual, you can see where we're starting and where we're going in the description below. But we're starting at Lima Papa, Mike Alpha, which is in Maldiria, and Portugal. And we're going to Gilbertar, which is Lima X-Ray, Golf Bravo. And in the flight planning, I did select and approach and everything based on the weather. What I normally like to do with real weather is I like to just go direct IFR and then have... ATC tell us which transition and approach to use and everything, but I just wanted to try it this way. In the flight planning page, I selected the approach in the runway based on the current weather, If it, assuming it's not going to change by the time we get there. Hopefully it doesn't, but if it doesn't change, then I already selected the approach and the runway and the transition, and I selected all that. Um, the sim approach, though, slightly different than a real-world approach. And I will talk about that once we get it on the GPS and everything. So I guess this is as full immersion as we're going to get. Um, I do have AI traffic turned on. I do not have multiplayer turned on because the gamer tags are annoying. And if you turn the gamer tags off, then you don't know they're there anyway. And in a popular area, it can really bog down your CPU. So even though we're always at like 50 frames per second or more, it can bog us down to like, 10 if there's a bunch of multiplayer so ai traffic real world weather all, all the good stuff it's full immersion as we get right always everything's default i don't run any mods nothing like that so let's put this back we'll put the drone away and hop inside and let's get started so before i started recording i turned on external power because it was available and i turned on the tail flood and I turned on the panel lights a little bit, and I turned on the floodlight. Just, you know, while people board, although we can't see them, we're going to pretend that they're boarding behind us. And here we go. Parking brake already set. Tail flutter, did all that stuff. Emergency lights to arm. Let's do that now. All the way up. Panel full lights already did that. Fuel and passengers. Let's do that right now. Um, how long do, how much fuel do we need? Probably, I don't know, I don't know the range for this. So let's say 75, 79. <laughs> let's go 79. Um, I was weighed yesterday at the doctor for my regular checkup and I'm 203 pounds and I'm officially 6 foot 3 and 3 quarters. I've grown in my late 40s, early, late 30s and early 40s. That's kind of scary. Um, my best friend... She's going to be our co-pilot. And what are we going to do here? Um, my best childhood friend is going to be with us. And his wife is going to be with us. And his eldest daughter is going to be with us. And my eldest child is going to be with us. And his youngest is going to be with us. And my youngest is going to be with us. And um, my best friend's eldest is going to be with us. And her husband gets to sit in the back. There we go. And a um, bunch of waters and snacks. There we go. Alright, so there's our fuel. There's our passengers. 
And let's back out of that before we accidentally reset it. Alrighty, what else? Batteries on. What are those? It's been so long since I've driven this. Driven. It's been so long since I've driven this thing. <laughs> Generator switches. I think that's there. Man, my 24 inch monitor is too small. My eyes. Oh, I need a 40 inch TV. Alrighty, APU start between the seats. Um, APU start. There we go. Wait till the APU stabilizes, which is here, but I think I have it here too, so I can see all this from this view. Yeah, while that's winding up, I'm going to go over my presets with myself. No, I'll, I'll take you with me on a preset tour. There's one flying position too. What do we get to see? Um, this and that. Do we need to see this? I don't know why that's down there. Three is so I can play with the Garmin. Four is so I can play with this Garmin and adjust the map. Five is between the seat stuff. Six is co-pilot stuff because there's something there I think we need. I can't remember. Yeah, I seen. Seven is looking ahead. Eight are the lights. Nine is autopilot. Is that really all the autopilot? It is. And zero is out the window. All right. That reminds me. I need to add to my spreadsheet that this plane does icing. I have a spreadsheet of all the planes. And if they're triple prop prop jet, the jets are obvious. But like triple prop prop. And um, if there's icing, if there's autopilot type of cockpit just so I can be at a glance like I feel like flying in the clouds in a tiny plane but I need icing I can look it up boom it's right there and the stuff I don't need to know isn't in my face I also see we've flown this thing for almost 20 hours good grief all right APU stabilized 100% so we come down here and do APU bleed confirm normal yes it is and APU generator on it is external power off Everything is still on and nothing has turned off, so that is good. Um, I think we're done here, so we can put that back in. Can we still see our Garmin control? Yes, we can. Okay, good. Power idles. Powered idle. Whoa. What do we use for that one? We don't have anything for that one, I guess. Everything's normal there. Yeah, okay. Um, can just search for it on yoke. I don't think you're supposed to need to, but on mine you do. Pulse light. That would be the anti-collision. No, pulse over there. Right engine start. This is where things get wonky. Sometimes, see, it turns on with my yoke, right? See? But you still have to push it a couple times to get it to work. I'm really confused. Um, and then right engine starter. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to sit here and watch this. And if it goes up, it worked. If it doesn't, I have to do it again. And it looks like it's working. Alrighty, um, right in to start to confirm, repeat for left engine, so we come back down here. We're going to push this a few times, although we shouldn't have to. See, that time didn't even go to stop, that one did. See how weird that is, and he pushed this. And we hope this one starts as well. Because it doesn't always work, sometimes one will start and one won't. While we're doing this, um, let's go through and set up our other stuff. So what I like to do, first of all, this needs to be FMS. And this needs to be wind, option three. And go back. And um, we'll do timers here in a moment. And if we come over here, if you recognize this, you should. If you don't recognize it, you should. This is a famous airport. Um, super difficult to approach into this because of the winds in real life. In fact, I believe it's a landing challenge. Um, let's see, is it this one? Which one zooms on my map? This one does. So if we start there, you know, pretty simple and obvious takeoff. We're going to take off opposite than normal, I guess, because of the wind. And then, oh, this doesn't, oh, that's right, you need that stupid pointer thing. Then we're immediately going to turn left. That's the only departure we could choose from, I guess. Fly to this island, and if I push on it, I can go like this. Come. Sometimes you can. Oh my gosh, really, this is going to take forever to show you what I wanted to show you. Come on. Come on. There we go. Small movements. Old-fashioned trackpad stuff. There we go. Okay, so see this here? This is going to be zoom in. You're just going to screw it up. Okay, good. It works. So if we look at this, there is the Rock of Gilbethrar, which I can't pronounce. Now, this is not the approach. The real-life approach for this airport, you come here, and you go directly, well, at 346 degrees. So you go like this. 
and then you go directly to R199. And then when you get here, which is called X-ray in real life, then you, come on, then you go visual. Here's X-ray. When you get to X-ray, it's a visual from there, and then it's very turbulent. So we'll do ATC to there, and we'll see what they tell us, but in real life, you go visual here. That's three miles away. Boom. But my main point was, sorry, I'm using the wrong thing. Oh, oh, dang it, it screwed up. Oh my gosh, what happened? Anyway, my point is you don't do that big horseshoe thing. So we're not going to. Get away from the... I want my thing back. Thank you. Alright, we'll go like this so we can see when we're on track. Although the computers do most of the work for us. Uh, we'll set up pilot and all that in a moment. Alright, APU and engines are running. Blah, blah, blah. So now we can come back over here. We're not done. The APU generator can go off. The APU bleed can come off. And AP itself can come off. There we go. Icing is needed. We're going to do icing right away because there are clouds up there. So we're just turn all the icing that we have as an option. And I believe that's all we need from here. So I can come back in. Set wind on PDF. Already did. Um, let's do our cruising altitude. If I can remember how to do it in this thing. That's a problem when you fly 30 different aircraft. You forget sometimes. Um, actually we'll do autopilot altitude once they clear us up, but let's just put a 10 grand for now. I don't know what they're going to tell us, whatever ATC tells us. Then we'll adjust that. Um, we'll use VS. It's not you see IS on here, because normally you would do NAV, or VNAV or something, which doesn't work. We we'll use NAV to do a, um, couple with FMS. Approach if we need to, alt. It should automatically capture the alt. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so here we go. Let's tune on ATC. Do we have an ATIS? We do. Let's see what it tells us. Winter what is the weather really like? Three zero decimal two. Boom, there you go. Twenty three news, we know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have the barometer set. Okay. Alpha. Let's tune the tower, let's tune the cleaners because that's going to take a while. Alright, so we have a barometer set. You know what runway we're using. Let's let them clear us for IFR. All right, we're back our clearance. So we're going to climb, take out 23, which is here. So we're just going to taxi whatever makes sense. 10,000 feet, that was a good guess. And then we'll tune in tower when we're ready, or departure when we're ready. All right, let's center that. Let's back this up. Oh, there we go. All right, awesome. All right, let's contact ground, I guess. What? Oh, when we're ready, we'll request taxi IFR. We're not quite ready. Did you get mad at us? Thought we didn't acknowledge that. Anyway, what are we doing? Autopilot, we're doing the air. We got our clearance. We got nav source to FMS. Speed bugs. There's a speed bug thing I like to turn on here if I can find it. Speed bugs right there. Turn them all on. That is good to know. We have our map. I'm getting reacquainted with this thing. What do flaps look like? We have a bunch of flaps down there. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's get ready to taxi. Anti-collision will come on now. Taxi lights will come on now. Flaps down one notch. And let's request our taxi clearance. And there we go. Ready to taxi. And also Bravo. He just changed. Alpha Bravo. 
I love this full immersion stuff, but it doesn't make for long videos. But who cares, right? That's kind of the point. You know what you're getting into when you're watching Flight Sim video. It's gonna be long. Alright. Um. Okay, let's hide that. Do we get a taxi ribbon? We do. So how are we going to get out of here without crashing into anything? Um, we're just going to go to the right. Where the person's standing, where the dots are, and follow the taxi ribbon. I wish we could have the ribbon without the stupid marker at the end, though. Whatever. Whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, even though it never used to be that way. Alright, let's do our favorite taxi view. Turn off. Parking brake. And start our taxi. And hopefully that person will move. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Can't even see ya. You gonna move? Come on. Ooh, that had to hurt a little bit. That did not feel good, I'm sure. Getting a gorgeous view of the hill. Look how tall those buildings are, and they're just halfway up the hill. Alright, awesome. 0.82 nautica miles. That's a long taxi. Not really, but... It gives you an idea of the scale of an airport. Um, let's see. I don't think we need... Yeah, should we taxi together? I mean, we're doing everything else together. And for the most part, we're just flying over the ocean, so the sightseeing won't be very long. It's going to be like, get up in the air, sightsee for a minute, and then land. Um, so why not? Let's taxi together. And just have a look around. Do you think, though, I can look around... I'll crashing into stuff while we taxi. Hmm, maybe. It's kind of difficult to do, but... Good looking airport here. Come on. You can make it. I love the islands popping up. That is so cool. Okay, why is this barely moving for me here? There we go, that's better. Alright, are you supposed to back taxi? I guess we're supposed to back taxi. I'm moving my head up and down trying to look above the tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess we're going to hold short right here because that's where it ends? No. Well, the taxi line ends there, but clearly we got a back taxi, so let's just do that. And, um, let's just get up there. I am going to cut till we get to the end because this thing will be longer than I thought. Why is it telling me to go that way when we need this whole runway and there's a long... What? Why is it telling me to take off here midway through? That's kind of funny, yet kind of annoying at the same time. Whatever, you just have to know better. And that's why you can see for things like the achievements, we do things like start at the end of the runway because of moments like this, you know, if we were doing this for an achievement, it may break it because we're not following the rules now because we're back taxiing to the start of runway 23. So we have the whole runway, see what I mean? So that's why I was doing those things the way I was doing them. But now that we're not chasing achievements, we're going to do it full immersion as we can. And that means we're going to take this bridge over the water and start off on actually runway 23. See, I knew we would have another actual taxi line. Let's see if the taxi ribbon catches up again. Nope. But it does want us to take off here. I mean, this is where the paint is. So this is where we're going to take off from. That's what it says. Unless there's another turnaround up there, but I don't think so. I don't see anything from here, so we'll use this one. Alright, you can just see how huge this runway is when you look at our little plane, which isn't so little. Alright, there we go. Parking brake set. Hop inside. What do we have here on our thing? Landing lights on. Where are they? Landing lights on. Taxi off. Recog on. Confirm flaps, that's down here. Timer. Um, start. And I don't think we're actually going to have the yoke in because um, then I can't see my IFR view when we try to look at stuff. So, uh, interesting. So, yet again, not counting there, but it is counting there. All right, what are we going to do? Um, get clearance and go. Here we go. Request takeoff clearance. Hopefully, they let us take off. Tango 
cleared and acknowledge. And take, take that off. Two, my volume down, I'm sure it's bleeding through, but that's because I can't wear headphones right now. So here we go. Full throttle in the red. And again, like usual, I feel like we sit so close in this view, but if you look over to the seats, our head position is exactly on the headrest. So this is it, I guess. I guess I can make the field of view a little wider, but then it looks funky. All right, there's our R. And up we go. What? My yoke's all the way back. Is my yoke not working? My yoke isn't working. What's going on? How come my yoke isn't working? I'm confused. Why isn't my yoke working? Um, okay, so my yoke <laughs> needs to be recalibrated. Oh my goodness. I checked the calibration screen in game, and when I pulled it. Hang on a second. When I pulled it all the way back, um, it only moved like. It barely moved on the graph. But when I pushed it forward, it went all the way down. So I really need to calibrate this thing. Oh, that's terrible. And left to right, like it goes all the way to the left, but it barely goes to the right. So I made adjustments as best as I could for now. Um, we're just going to have to be, see how it's doing or something. We're just going to have to be very careful to calibrate it. But we've come, we've come this far. I'm not going to calibrate it right now. No, it's really scary. Alright, let's get in the green on our gauges here. Um, continuous plan, 3012, reset the barometer. We're just going to keep going on our path here. There we go, let's not do... Actually, no, let's keep going back up, come on. Alright, so the problem with IFRs, I really want to look around. But you really can't, you know what I mean? Like, you really got to stay focused until you're in your cruise. But we're still in the red on the ITT. Come on, get out of the red. We'll keep turning. There you go. There you go. All right, let's come down here and zoom this out so we can see where we actually are. And then we're going to use autopilot in a minute. I'm just really enjoying hand flying. It said go up to 10,000, right? I think I set my cruise in the nav log to 29,000. All right, let's head back to D1. That's not us, okay. Can we look at anything? There's the airport anyway. And there's the island. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I love this full immersion. The downside is we can't look around and sightsee because there's too much going on right now. I mean, I guess I could do autopilot right now, but this is fun too. And I want to get back on track. For early it's autopilot, it might circle us all the way back to catch that. So I'm hoping we can trigger that. There we go. All right. Let's get back here. Still hand flying, by the way. I used to literally engage autopilot at the end of the runway. As soon as the wheels were off the ground, I would engage autopilot. That's what I used to do. But I don't do that anymore. I hand fly a little bit. There we go. Now we can engage autopilot. Um, where's flight director? I think you have to turn both flight directors on in this one in order for it to work. And nav. Autopilot. What do you want for vertical speed? Let's do a thousand feet per minute and then bring back throttle so you don't overspeed. Gear and flaps are up, by the way. I did that a long time ago. I just didn't talk through it. And I think we're going to work. I think this is going to do it. Um, our speed, we're breaking the speed limit because we're not at 10,000 yet, but that's because I was getting used to this airplane, but whatever. Let's come back down to 250. And then after let's say check, let's gear up. Yeah, flaps up, did all that icing is needed. The yeah, airplane lights off a 10 grand, we'll get there. Okay. Things happen fast and I love it. This plane will get away from you too. You just it's almost I'm not gonna say it's easier to fly out of the jumbo jets, but because of the speed and how fast things happen in this airplane, um this isn't a beginner aircraft, I guess, because look at us. We broke the speed limit, like, immediately. That's a big ding against us. But we were able to hand fly. That was fun. So, and the view's kind of weird. You're kind of close to everything. But, I mean, we could go up like this, maybe, but then that looks kind of silly. I don't know. Maybe we can try it like that. What do you think if we move our heads over? 
Uh, I mean, me being 6'3 three and 3 quarters, maybe that's reasonable. I don't know. I'm going to play with that later. Alrighty. Autopilot has captured the nav path correctly. We are no longer speeding. We should get clearance to cruise here in a second. And then once we do, we'll turn off landing lights and um, we'll get going on some sightseeing before we miss too much. Actually, let's just look around super fast right now while we're waiting for that clearance. Look at that. The island behind us already. Already gone. And there's our next waypoint, and then we're headed way off over there. Oh man, so nice. But again, it happened so fast. Alright, let's see. Are we going to get some clearance? Are we going to get some clearance? It usually clears you just before. There we go. 1900. Let's um, acknowledge. And go to 1900. Right about there. And turn vertical speed back on. Go up. Not 1300 feet per minute. Let's go 900 feet per minute. Use the throttle just to the red. Ooh, it's in the red. <laughs> it's in the red. Bring it back. Actually, we'll keep it red a little bit for climb, then we'll bring it back. Come up here. Line lights can come off now. So essentially, all we're going to do now, from here until approach, is just follow AT's instructions. Um, we're going to climb. I guess we can climb a little steeper than that. I like to use I IAS hold for climbing, because then um, you just hold the speed you want, the optimum climb speed, and then you just use your throttles to control rate, right? Climb rate. But... You have to use VNAV, I believe, in this airplane to have IS, which means you put it in a computer and it does it all on the computer. But I don't think VNAV is working in any default aircraft at the moment, at the time of this recording. I think you're watching this New Year's... No, you're not watching this New Year's Day. It's like the 3rd or 4th of January you're watching this. I'm recording this during 1.11.7. So, um, at the time of this recording, VNAV isn't doing what it's supposed to. So I have to do it like it's a, so you have to simplify the autopilot like you would in a GA aircraft to get this to work. Because at the time of this recording, everyone's complaining about the longitude autopilot doesn't work. Oh yes, it does. I'm using it right now. No, it won't tie to your FMS. Sorry. But if you do it the GA way, it works just fine. So there you go. Um, let's see where I'm going. I'm still in the red on the ITT. I better be careful here. I better be careful. So what we're going to do then is we're going to increase our climb rate. Now we're in the green. See? Nice. Okay. Um, we'll set the, reset the barometer at 18,000. I know that's for the U.S. I don't know what is near up. Um, and then we're just going to follow instructions from ATC. So what am I going to do? I'm going to give you some sightseeing. I'm going to follow ATC's instructions, monitor the engines and the fuel and everything. Alrighty. I totally lost track of what I was saying. And I'm just going to leave you with some sightseeing now while I monitor everything and respond to ATC when appropriate. And I'll see you for narration and commentary when we start coming down. And then, obviously, we'll do the entire approach together. And that's where the video gets long. I'll see you then.
right, we're we're joining right. Well, a lot happened at once. It was top of descent, and then we started recording, and then we got our approach information, like, all at the same time. So, we are going to need to slow down so that we can buy ourselves some time horizontally. There we go, while we increase our rate of descent and probably bring out the spoilers. There we go. That should help us descend and slow down. If they do do this in real life, by the way. Um, so here we go. Weather. Do we have weather? Do we have everything we need? 66 miles. Detain 13,000. Runway 9 approach. That's what he wanted via this. is all fine. That's there, but we're actually... See, here's where it gets screwed up. In real life... Let me zoom this in if I can a second here while we're doing all this crazy stuff at the same time. In real life, we go from here right there. But they want us to go out there and then make this U-turn. Um, <sighs> I'm thinking if I just cut through, are they going to terminate our ATC? Or will they adjust for us? Let's just do it the real life way and see what ATC does. Let's see if ATC terminates. Let's see if ATC just changes their mind. In the meantime, I slowed us way down. We'll get speed again. Well, we'll sit at 250 once you get lower. But anyway, what did it say? Maintain our nav. So with the R nav, I'm assuming I could be wrong. Let's bring spoilers back in actually. I'm assuming um, that everything we need will be in here, so we'll get our glide slope and everything through the R nav. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, I know if you do approaches through the planning page, which I did. All the information you need should be there for you to land with the computer. If you do it through here by clicking approach and procedure and all this stuff, then it isn't going to work. I don't know. We're going to find out together, aren't we? Alrighty, let's see where are we at. We're at 21,000. We have a long ways to come down. It brings spoilers back out. If we need to, let's again slow down horizontally here. Um... Or laterally, I guess they call it. Because our airport is right there. So we're going to come in here, turn left there. Instead of going all the way out and back. Um, slow down even more. And bring the spoilers back out after all. Alright, let's finish reading what this said. It said, keep speed below 240. Okay, we will do that. Expect RNAV runway 9 via the transition that we're not going to do. We're going to do it the realistic way then descend to 9,000 feet, which we are. Keep speed below 240, which we are. And then again, um, then we acknowledge it. Okay, so we know how we're coming in. I just love this ATC stuff. I can't wait to do some IFR flights and some slow planes. I'm really looking forward to doing IFR and slow planes. Can't wait. But right now we got to land this one. So we're just going to come down super fast. Spoilers are out. Keep our speed below 240. Um... Yeah, that's it. I'm overthinking this like usual. Let's get landing lights on now, even though it's a little early. That's okay. Otherwise, what do we got? Weather, though, tell us we get closer. Landing lights on now. Landing gear and flaps will come down later. Arm the spoilers. We'll do that a little bit later, too, once we get down. Um, stop the clock once we land. How? What's it been so far? Hour and a half. And our estimated time of arrival is... How come this is all different, depending on your angle? 1416 UTC, so 20 minutes only? Okay, I don't believe it. Um, 13 minutes to our next waypoint. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think this airplane will fly itself a little bit more if I look outside a little bit here. We'll look outside together. We're done with the sightseeing shots. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. What a great time to look outside. And there's the rock right there. Oh my. Wow. This is gorgeous. But see, you miss all this when you're flying high altitude IFR, right? Because you're busy. Um, I was going to land here, actually. That was my original plan. They decided to go to the rock. I mean, this altitude's okay, but this isn't cruising altitude. So see, you miss a lot of this stuff when you're doing IFR jet flights. But that's okay. We're enjoying it now. And then we'll do more... L low altitude, 
to the spoilers out. Low altitude GA aircraft with IFR. So you can make use of ATC. How gorgeous is this to look across the strait? Oh my gosh, into the sea. Wow, look at this. Amazing. But we do have a plane to fly. Alright, 16,000 feet. Speed is good. Um, we're just going to keep what we're doing here for a minute. Acknowledge handoff, and they're probably going to make us climb to 19,000 because that's how this thing works. <laughs> it's really silly, but we'll just keep going down to 9,000. Now, what does it say here? Madrid Center Turtles of Tango Sierra 4105 is out of 13,900 feet for 9,000 feet. Turtles of Tango Sierra 4105, Madrid Center, continue to be on the There's our weather barometer. We will get our weather in a moment, hopefully. Um, depending, well, depending if they like us or not, because we're not going all the way out here just to come back and make a really sharp U-turn around the rock. We're going to actually come in through here like you would in real life. The difference, though, is that we're still really high because that's not what HTC was planning for us to do. So we're doing the best we can. We're going to try to get down to 9,000, and then they would drop us to like 5,000. So actually, we are going to come down lower than 9,000. We're going to come down. Uh, let's see. I forgot what the chart said for that. Um, let's come down to about 3,000, since we're going to skirt around ATC's instructions. Stall, really. Let's, let's bring in their brakes a little bit. There we go. Rod in the speed brakes, and then now we're just going to come down by bringing back throttle. But see, the point of the speed brakes is that you can come down without gaining out, gaining speed. See how we're gaining speed? Let's bring back throttle even more. Landing and let's see how this goes. More incredible views out the window. Let's back that up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this altitude is great. What altitude are we at? What did it say? Yeah, see, 10,000 feet is a great cruising altitude for the imagery below. When we get too high, um, when it gets too high, then it, you just lose sight of it, but that's okay. Amazing, let's enjoy this while our airplane is trying to come down. Wow. There's a runway right there. We'll see if we make it like this. We might have to do our own little invention. I just want to take the real life approach. I don't want ATC to get us away out there. I can understand that there's a lot of traffic. We'd have to do that. But there isn't any traffic. It's just us. All right, let's level off at about 1500. So get the throttles back in. Spoilers are in and armed and ready. For a landing, whoa, 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 I didn't mean Turtles that, stop, oh my gosh, stop, this is trimmed all funky monkey, we'll do landing gear in a moment, so yeah, as soon as I hit this R199, I'm hoping ATC understands what we're trying to do, because this is the real life, well, the, okay, the real life approach you would have gotten to here and come in at this angle, but whatever. I guess I could have done that instead of nose diving, but hey. See, look, see we are getting information. See, there's the glide slope. There's the ILS information. Well, glide slope for sure. That should switch over to ILS information. So let's just stay on the glide slope here so we know what we're doing. So throttles to throttle so we don't descend anymore because see how glide slope we're below it. Come on. Now let's hold down. No, nope. we're not going to. We're not going to. Nope, it's not going to figure it out. Bummer. I was hoping once we crossed the path, it would change here. What if I did this? Do I have time to do this? Do I have time to do direct to. Nope. Gosh, do I have time? Where's my flight plan? Oh, what do I want? 
I can't scroll down and see what I'm doing at the same time. Screw it. Yeah, we'll do landing gear now. What I wanted to do, I guess I could active pause. I was going to go down here and go direct. Come on. Come on. To this one. And let's see what it does. Oh gosh, that's very dangerous to do it that way. No, I did the wrong one. Shoot. Oh my gosh, we're going to crash. We're only 400 feet. <laughs> that was not the... No, that was terrible to do it that way. Okay, never mind. Let's just climb. I meant to do that one. I did the wrong one because I couldn't see that far on my monitor. I meant to go direct to this one. Whatever. Now we really got ATC mad at us. First set of flaps. We're really freaking low. Nope, our glide slope is gone now because I screwed up the approach plate from doing that, I think. Second set of flaps. Can't see because we're way too low. Oh my gosh, this is a bad way to do that. And there's our airport, the runway there. Let's start slowing down. Do we have we have one more set of flaps yet? Let's just do them. We're ready for landing. We just need to find a runway now. Which I can't see. There it is. Oh my gosh. That's not how you do this, folks. You don't... You don't look down when you're trying to land a plane like that. Taking your eye off. It wasn't that I couldn't see out the window, it was that I took my eye off my gauges. We're not even clear to land because I broke ATC. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Let's just try to do this now. Wow, this is hard to fly when my sensitivity is down 95%. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to change that. It's great for GA, but when I do these, I, these jets like this, I cannot have my sensitivity down 95% this is not working <laughs> oh come on come on I feel like we're fast but we're not we're just above stall so oh Stall. we are not Stall. stalling Stall. Stall. maybe I had too many donuts um no <laughs> Reversers, nose down gently, brakes, flaps coming in. Considering that was the worst approach you could do, that landing was not bad. <laughs> it was very smooth. We used ground effects to smoothen it out. I did not feel like we were stalling. I still had control over that aircraft. That was kind of strange. I said stall. I had complete control. Um, we were never cleared to land. <laughs> I totally broke ATC. <laughs> oh well. Let's cancel live fire. <laughs> That's Lincoln funny. Center, Turtle Soup, Tango, Sierra, 4105. Would like to cancel IFR. All right. Turtle Soup, Tango, Sierra, 4105. Okay. Oh my goodness. That was hilarious. I hope he's out of the humor and all that. Frequency change approved. Okay. Tune ground. Request to parking. See? There. <laughs> oh my gosh, the thing keeps running on its own. I totally broke ATC. That's fine. Let's go like this. Let's go like that. I don't even know what it said. I wasn't listening. We'll look up in a second. Hour 41. What else do we do? We shut down now, so let's hop out and take parking brake off and find the parking. And there's the rock right there. You'd think that'd be a POI, but it's not. Okay, fine, whatever. So you took the real life approach, but then because I was looking down, trying to oh look, there's buildings up there, trying to adjust the FMS to accommodate the real life approach by going direct to a waypoint. Not only did I select the wrong one because I couldn't see it, but I also wasn't looking at my instruments and we almost crashed from the water. So what I should have done was just canceled IFR right there. As soon as ATC wasn't going to figure out what I was doing, I should have canceled IFR and then landed visually. The last three miles are visual anyway. Um, I mean, not land visually. I should have gone VFR. The last three miles are visual, but I should have canceled IFR 
when I broke away from their plan for me or whatever. So a couple mistakes made, but we made it. And even though we had a horrendous approach, our touchdown was actually very nice, very smooth. Um, comedy for the crosswind a little bit, even though I didn't talk it out. Land a left of center. Sorry, I'm getting better about it, though, overall. And um, it said stall, but I still had com controlled aircraft. And the ground effects saved us at the last minute, so I don't know. But anyway, so we'll do some more of this IFR practice stuff. I just Maybe I will just stick to their crazy approaches, even if they're wrong. I just wanted to do the real life one, but we won't be doing many jets like this. Every once in a while I'll pull this out, but mostly it's going to be IFR and like the Caravan or the TMB or JMB or whatever. And maybe even the Cessna. That'd be kind of fun. So I'm going to park us here and um, we'll shut this thing down. Looks like our leftmost wheel is kind of wobbly. That's hilarious. Whoa, certainly got away from us here. And um, I love all the boxes look like the cement stops at parking spaces, but you drive right over them until they turn green. I love the idea of this taxi ribbon. It's so helpful and so nice. I just wish it weren't so nasty looking. I know they have mods for it, but I run completely mod free because it seems like every mod out there is bugging people's sims. And I don't want to worry about that. I just want to fly. I don't want to worry about mods and troubleshooting and all that stuff that I never explained so much. I'd rather just fly. I'm over messing with my sim. There we go. Nice and green. I don't think there's anybody. Oh, there's somebody to tell us to stop. All right, I'm coming, coming through, come on. Okay, and whoop, not quite there. And stop, thank you. Set the parking brake, I did adjust my view, I backed it up a little bit too, so it looks a little better than it did. All righty, let's shut this thing down. I totally forgot to stop my timer, didn't I? Oh no, it stopped itself. I think I did stop it, <laughs> parking brake set. All icing controls off. Um, we're done with ATC, right? Yep, totally. Ooh, ground services. Not much we can do. Let's do power supply. Gibraltar ground, Turtle Sook, Tango Sierra, 4105. Could you please send a ground power unit? There already was available. Whatever. Um, icing off. Tango Sierra, 4105. Um, the ground power unit is on the road. Great. We already have it, though. There we go. External power on, all lights can come off now, except we'll leave the tau flood on. Conditioners off with the yoke, that will kill the engines. There we go, let's continue though. 136 it said, and it counted everything, very nice. Um, generators off, that would be here and there. Batteries off because we don't need GPU or APU because we have external power on. And then once everything is all done and everybody has left the plane, we would turn the tail flood off and then the external power. But we're not going to do that. We're going to let it run. We're just going to let it run and do its thing. So there you go. We made it. Scary approach, but that's all my own fault. Lots of mistakes made, but we're alive. Anyway, look how gorgeous this is. This is so awesome so awesome maybe we'll land here again with something else but anyway i'm gonna well i have a bunch of flights planned but i'm gonna work out some more ifr flights because ifr stuff is really fun we're just gonna do it in smaller and slower aircraft so if you enjoyed it i certainly did please like subscribe leave a comment share with your friends and i'll see you next time